What's up guys, this is Z-Cartrack 8 here. But today's video is very simple. So we're gonna show you how to take out uh, the actual back piece inside of the car, like where this uh, rear sub is. So that way, when you install your sub in the trunk, you can actually hear the bass coming from those grill inside of the car. So that way, you're not like uh, breaking your uh, speaker by like uh, overpower your amp in the back because of these seats, they are like super thick and it's gonna be really impossible for you to to hear the sound if you don't have a pass through there which is like an empty hole inside of the back there so it's gonna be simple so let's go ahead and get started to that all right guys so just like everything else obviously the first step you're gonna need to do in order for you to take out the uh, back uh, panel uh, from the Maserati is uh, to lower down your seat so if you can see this here so you'd go to the corner there and then pull this little red handle and then you drop it down. So after you do this, uh, the next step is to remove, if to remove this panel here. So that says airbag. So obviously most of the time it's placed like somewhere in this corner here. Uh, this one is for the right side, obviously. That's why it doesn't look as good. Uh, so this is how you would take it. But in order for you to take that out, you need to remove uh, this little clip in there that says airbag because there's those screws inside of it, which is this screw right here. You're going to have to unscrew it out before this piece can come out. All right. And it is a T-bed. It's just to leave it as it is and push it down. Uh, once you do that, you do the same thing on this side. You just pull this one and pop it out. So once you pop it out, it's out. So you can put it in the trunk wherever you want and uh, remove the side so this is the screw i was telling you right here you take it off and you put it back in there so that way you don't lose it and uh and you remove this clip on this side then you're done the back piece only fastened with these screws that i'm about to show you right now and then they very simple to take out so the only thing that you're gonna need is a uh, screwdriver phillips head in order for you to take them out so this is one here you got one, you got two, you got three in the middle, which is this one here. You got four and five. So now once you remove all these things and then now the next step is to lift this up, try to lift it up and pull forward and pull it back. There we go. And it'll come right up. And then you just slide it down through the seatbelt and that's it. So if you, so now this is it. So obviously in my case, I did take out the speaker, but I wanted to install like a 10 inch sub in the back of it. So I did manage to install the uh, 10 inch subwoofer, but the problem is, the problem is the fact that this was not meant for anything heavy. When, when I say heavy, it's like you cannot put a uh, subwoofer here that put out a lot of power because the fact is, so if you do, it's going to be vibrating everything there. So if you are next to me right now, you would probably be smelling all that uh, very bad smell that's coming out of this uh, tin and subwoofer right there. So it's a Pioneer, um, we call it a, not 10 inches, an eight inch uh, shallow woofer. So that one is toast. It smells terrible. And I don't think you're gonna want that inside of your car. Obviously to remove these screws, you're gonna need like a 10 millimeter uh, socket uh, wrench and it looks like this and, and then you just need a ratchet, uh, whatever size that you have and then so you think you can take it out. So let's go ahead and take it out. So this is the template that I made. <laughs> it's uh, pretty simple, but it works. It fits perfectly nice. But the fact that I can't put anything in there is just like a waste of time. So for those of you who wanna see how the template look like, so this is it. 
So it's got a Pioneer 8 inch subwoofer in it. So I buy this thing for like 50 bucks from a guy. Cause I know I was gonna mess it up anyway. So I didn't want to spend money by a, an expensive one. So I bought the, it was in a, another car that he had. So I bought it from him and put it in there. So that's the template. So this is how the backside looks. And don't get me wrong, this little speaker is really good. But for this car, it's just too much. And I cannot use it, right? So now uh, I am leaving this uh, space open with the exception of uh, the old amplifier, I mean subwoofer that was in there. Uh, I am leaving that hole open and then putting the cap back on there as you can see it right now. So there's gonna be a huge hole in the trunk. That way I am installing my uh, original subwoofer, which I have there. So let me show you. So this is my original uh, 12 inch uh, subwoofer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the car and everything should sound a little bit better because I don't have the old speaker uh, sub that comes with the car in the back anymore. So uh, all of this didn't really take a long time. So obviously when you're doing it for the first time, you don't know what to expect, but it's uh, fairly simple, fairly easy to do. And then I think, uh, you guys gonna enjoy uh, the way your car sound after you remove that old raggedy speaker out of there. So I'm done with this. So now let's go ahead and uh, remove and put this speech back in there and then uh, put my old sub then we're gonna test it out. Then you'll see, it sounds a little bit better than it should. All right guys, so putting this thing back is really the same process. So it's not that complicated. All you gotta do is just slide it back in the same way that you got it out and you should be done. Then the only thing you would have to do is just uh, screw things back the way they were, then, then you it. And then just make sure that everything is good. Uh, that way you don't have to take it out again. So right now I'm about to do this. So take the cover just like it is and slide it back up on there. Yeah, this is it guys. This is pretty much how you put it back and then you tug it. You should hear a little snap in the back once everything is aligned in the corner. So this is what you're watching out for. Uh, make sure everything is aligned and you should be good. And as long as these things are aligned and snap in, then you it. And you can, now you're ready to go back and put these screws back inside of the car. And then you go on your merry way. And this is pretty much how you take out the rear panel inside of the car. So I know a lot of people may make it Seems like it's a complicated fact. Uh, it's really impossible to take it out. Cause I remember the first time I tried to take it out, I tried to remove this grill here. This grill doesn't come out. So if you're trying to take it off, you're gonna mess it up completely. So you definitely don't wanna do that. So you have to take out this whole piece uh, for you to remove this back panel. That way you can clear the hole that's in the back to make your sub work properly. So this is it guys, so everything is installed, as you can see here. Got everything back in there, nice and neat. So the only thing different is I got a hole in there now. So if you look down here, so this speaker is no longer, this speaker is no longer up there. So you got a hole, so that way when I put the sub in there, and I should hear the sound a little bit better inside of the car. So now let's go ahead and put the sub in and uh, give it a test to see if everything is as is good as we thought it would be.
guys thank you very much for watching this video and if you are new to my channel you know exactly what to do hit the subscribe button the bell for notification as always and uh, i will be writing a step-by-step -step blog on how to remove the maserati rear panel and that way for those of you who like to follow instructions so that way it's easier for you to uh, perform that task instead of watching like a 30 minutes or 20 minutes video on that and uh, the other thing is uh, i will be doing some new giveaway uh coming in uh, may because uh, we're gonna be starting to have like uh, the new tesla screen for maserati out there and i know a lot of you have been waiting for it and it's gonna be fun uh to be able to use this system because it's been a while that a lot of you have been waiting for it's like oh my god yeah so anyway i am so excited as excited as you are and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you on the channel and participate in the new giveaway thank you very much guys i'll see you on my next bit peace